Do you think and view yourself as a murderer when you get frustrated and angry? Was, I wonder, was Jesus thinking about Abel when he did this? When he said this? Ah, this happened before. Oh, we don't know. But we do know that this first murder was a result of the first death. This is actually the first physical death that we see. But this was a result of the spiritual death. When Adam chose to eat from the fruit, from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the world got messed up. And guess what was the result to his bad decision? His sons were affected. One of his sons murdered the other son. But listen, Adam and Eve lost two children. Remember what we read at first? After Cain killed, he was banished from the land. They lost two boys. Imagine the embarrassment. Imagine the failure that they felt as parents. One of our sons killed the other, and now that one's gone. He's homeless. <sighs> Let it be known, parents, that God sees your hurt. From the bad decisions that your children have made, from the embarrassments that your children face, you're not alone. <laughs> The first parents felt this big time. But if all of this uglier stuff is a result of the first death, because Adam sinned, the Bible talks about a second Adam. This is a nickname, second Adam, this is a nickname. Like I called you Cain the second, and me Cain the second. Jesus has a nickname, the second Adam. And here's what 1 Corinthians chapter 15 says. So you see, just as death came into the world through one man, Adam, now the resurrection from the dead has begun through another man, Jesus. <laughs> Listen to me. We see this ugly uh, anger, angry reaction as a result of Adam's sin. We have issues because of Adam's sin. But Jesus comes and he's a, flip, a script flipper. He flipped the script. From Adam came death, but through Jesus he brings resurrection. He reverses. And God wants to reverse the things in your life. Maybe you've been given to anger. And the resurrected Jesus wants to reverse it today. He wants to shift the, 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 the testimony or... The, the way that people view you, you're viewed as an angry person, one who loses their temper. Jesus wants to resurrect that. Jesus wants to give you new life. Maybe you're one who you've never decided to follow Jesus. You have not committed your life to Jesus. And Jesus wants you to experience the power of the resurrection by freeing you from sin, by you accepting Jesus today. <laughs>